Hey everyone, it's your boy Mr. Brantrick here with all the girls! <laughs> Woo! Shout out to you guys on Kairos. All right, we're gonna do quiz C. Let's get ready for our quiz tomorrow. All right, and this is about looking at the average fastball for pitchers. All right, and you see that scatter plot there. And it kind of shows you, if you look at it, it kind of has that curve shape. All right, so when it says describe the association for number one, I'm going to say for form, I'm going to say curve. What do you think about direction? Positive. Positive. Okay. What do you think about strength? It looks strong. But remember, if we were doing a linear model here, we would have to say it's linear. So would, would you think it's appropriate to use a linear model? Because what word did we use to describe the form? Curve. So if you don't say linear, you should not use a linear model. Okay, so I think it is strongly curved, but if we ran a linear regression and got R, I'd say it could be strong, maybe even moderate, because it's not linear. Okay? So number one, there was a lot of stuff there, but we're going to say curved, we're going to say positive, say strong. So how would you describe in context what's happening here? Because again, this is the average strikeouts per nine innings. And then the average speed for their fastball, I believe. Yes. So what do you think is happening? If somebody comes into pitch and they have a higher average fastball, so it's a faster pitch, they usually what? They usually strike out more people, right? We're starting the playoffs for baseball right now. So the Astros start playing tomorrow. So they have pitchers, they're starting pitchers. Usually on average, they go about six or seven innings. And they don't pitch usually between like low 90s, mid 90s. Then when people come in from the bullpen, they only pitch like one inning. They usually throw harder, like 95 and above. And they usually strike out more people. So they throw faster. Okay? Now, that all kind of makes sense if you know anything about baseball or softball. It's harder to hit the, the ball if it's going fast. But there is one point up there that is a possible outlier. Do you see it? This person's average fastball is about 84 miles an hour, possibly the lowest average fastball. But they strike out almost the same amount of batters per nine innings as somebody that throws 97 miles an hour on average. What the heck is that? How is that possible? Ooh, the way that they throw it? Hmm. Okay. There are different types of fastballs, four seam, two seam, sinkers, cutters. All those are fastballs. You mentioned curveball, right? You could have, maybe they have a really good curveball that strikes out people. Their fastball isn't very fast. There's actually a pitch out there that this pitcher throws. It's not a curveball that strikes out people all the time. Do you know what it's called? <laughs> the first letter is a K. But it's a silent K. N is the second letter, which makes it. You want to see it in person? Well, not like in person, because John Stamos isn't John Stamos isn't coming. I have it. We're at a baseball game now. Try to watch it. Try to watch it as it goes here. See if you can see the movement. Did you see it the very last second move? Try to watch it again. Try to watch it again. Did you see it kind of move to the right? So what I'm trying to show you is that you hold the baseball with your knuckles up like this. And you don't, when you throw a baseball or a softball, usually you snap your wrist. Okay, fastball, snap your wrist, curveball, snap your wrist. But with a knuckleball, you just like shot put it. So it floats, right? And it wobbles. And that wobbling causes batters to like, they don't know what's going to happen. Like a curveball, you can pick up the seams and you can see the way it's going. Same with a fastball. But the knuckleball doesn't rotate, so it just wobbles. It's crazy. But then his other pitch is a fastball that he throws about 80 miles an hour. 
and his knuckleball is 67 miles an hour. Most pitchers don't throw that slow in major leagues. Yes, he's a major league baseball player. Can I see it again? Okay. <laughs> We could watch this all day. He, I don't actually know what team he's on anymore. I think he might be retired. He's bounced around. He was with, he had a year in 2012 with the Mets where he almost won the Cy Young, which is like the best pitcher in the league. So he had a really like a renaissance. He was a pitcher back when he was like 25, but he couldn't figure it out. Like they, it wasn't good enough to make it. Then he started messing around with the knuckleball. Came back when he was like 33. So anyway, his name's R. A. Dickey is his name. If you want to look at him, R. A. Dickey. He's got a book out there. You should read it. All right. So number two. <laughs> number two. I'm going to comment on the unusual point, which is 84 miles an hour fastball, but a high. K per nine rate. K means strikeout, by the way, in baseball, in softball. K means strikeout. And we said that that is a pitcher, pitcher who throws a knuckleball. Possibly, right? I'm assuming here. You would just mention that there is a pitcher out there who has a fairly slow average fastball, but strikes out a lot of batters, which is not in line with what's really happening with the data. So that's what you would say. You wouldn't be able to go further and say, like, I think it might be because he throws a knuckleball. And that's okay. Like, if this is on the exam, they're not expecting you to be like, oh, I know exactly what happened. They want you to just comment on it. Everybody good with that? Okay, take a look at number three. All right, so this data, if you go up, this data was a whole season's worth of data. Okay, so an average Major League Baseball pitcher in a 162 game season for a starting pitcher pitches around 175 innings. Right, and innings is three outs in an inning. Okay, so in terms of the number of pitches that they throw, they usually throw about 100 pitches per start, and they make about 30 starts. So what's 100 times 30? 3,000. So let's just assume right now that this data is from 3,000 pitches. All right, now they don't throw only fastballs. Let's say they throw half of their pitches are fastballs. How many pitches is that? 1,500. So these points are from 1,500 pitches, and then they average those fastballs. 1,500 data values that they average. So what you're trying to say is that this one is So Margo just spoiled the party for us. You're good. That's, your brain is there. What Margo's brain has noticed is where I'm getting at is this is summary statistics. Yes. This is summary data. This is average over 1,500 pitches, give or take. Okay? So when it says in number four, excuse me, number three, what do you think is going to happen to the association if we just use one month of pitches? It will actually be weaker. Okay? The reason is anytime you do an average, it's going to be stronger. So you see how that looks pretty strong? If you only did a month, it would have more scatter. You'd have the same number of data points, same number of pitchers, but you'd have more scatter. All right? So I would say it would be weaker because The data above is from 
an entire season. Is that, is that right? Oh, no. Sad. Let me try again. Oh, it like froze, didn't it? Froze. All right. Well, gotta be tough. All right, so we're having some difficulties here, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, but for all those, those people out there watching, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoy this video. Got more for that. The whole year we'll be doing this, all right? So on that note, Thank you.